Welcome to my December 2020 horoscope series. This month is going to be absolutely historical in nature. We are experiencing an astrological event which only occurs every 20 years. And that is the great conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn. Now, what's special about this particular great conjunction is that we haven't had one in the sign of Aquarius in over 600 years. Guys, please watch my horoscope videos for your ascendant, sun and moon sign because this is really going to set the tone for the next two decades. Everyone will be affected, but the signs who will see the most monumental and cataclysmic changes are Aquarius, Taurus, Leo and Scorpio. Without further ado, let's dive straight in. Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Risings. Welcome to your December 2020 horoscope. The month starts off with Mercury entering the sign of Sagittarius on the 1st of December, and that will be in your 12th house. Mercury will remain there for the first three weeks of the month, which will see you thinking a lot about your spirituality, if you are a spiritual person or if you are delving into that. On another level, you could be feeling quite creative at this time. And for others of you, you may just want to spend more time alone, spend more time resting and basically just locking yourself up in your room or in your home and not dealing with anyone. Now on the 14th or 15th of December, depending where you live in the world, there will be a new moon total solar eclipse in Sagittarius at 23 degrees. We will also see Mercury conjunct the south node in your 12th house together with the new moon. And all of that will be squaring Neptune in Pisces in your third house. Now, new moons always bring about new beginnings in some way, shape or form. And when it's a total solar eclipse, these are especially powerful new beginnings for you, Capricorn. And this is concerned with the realm of what the 12th house rules over. So once again, this could be a new spiritual awakening for many of you. And these new beginnings will take place within three to six months from the time of the eclipse. So let's say by the end of May 2021. Now for others of you, you could be exploring your creative talents related to uh, music, whether that's playing music, composing music, you may be an artist, a painter or, or writer, a drawer. It might be creative writing or writing literature or poetry. And for others of you, you will have to be particularly careful with your health during this time and also with substances and certainly not abusing substances. As we all know, Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Risings have been going through I would say probably the most difficult period of their entire lives over the last two or three years. And the reason for that is that we had Saturn in Capricorn and we also had Jupiter in Capricorn there, which does lend a helping hand. But when Saturn transits your sign, it is such a, an oppressive, limiting and you know in some ways depressing energy and Saturn is your chart ruler okay for those of you who are Capricorn ascendants even if it's your moon or your sun Saturn is such a harsh punishing planet and having Saturn transit your first house can see you be lacking in vitality motivation health in general uh, physical and emotional health and well-being and your plans and goals and ambitions could have been taking an absolute beating over the last two and a half years but the good news is Capricorn that Saturn and Jupiter are leaving your first house they're leaving the sign of uh, of Capricorn and entering Aquarius Saturn will enter Aquarius on the 17th of December. Jupiter will enter the sign of Aquarius on the 19th of December. And the two planets together will be forming 
the great conjunction which only occurs once every 20 years now all of this will tie in together capricorn for all the other videos i've been going you know in chronological order and you know none of these events are isolated especially for you so this great conjunction will see the seeds of your career and the contribution that you make to society as a whole and certainly in a career related capacity start to be planted watered and eventually take shape now in order to be able to do this going back to this new moon total solar eclipse you are being begged by this eclipse to take time to rest because what the great conjunction has in store for you capricorn is going to take all of your resources emotional physical to some extent uh, your financial resources as well they're going to be uh, impacted by this second house because the great conjunction is occurring in your second house of finances so really capricorn you know you've come out of this two and a half year difficult the most difficult of transits right and you absolutely need to rest you a lot of you and i know so many capricorn sun moon and risings especially risings who are on the brink of a physical exhaustion breakdown you need to rest you need to uh you know gather your resources collect yourselves you actually need to spend time alone and with this new moon total solar eclipse making a square to neptune in your third house uh, the south node represents detachment and loss and the square to neptune also indicates loss now in the third house this is showing a loss or at least diminishing of communication with your friends, with your colleagues, with your siblings, with your teammates, and stepping back from these commitments that you have made to all those aforementioned individuals. It doesn't have to be every single person in your life, but at least some individuals there or pockets and groups of, of those, uh, those groups of people that I just mentioned. And definitely with work and your team projects and any business that you have, because the third house can represent your own personal business, you need to put this on the back burner for just a bit to collect yourself and really restore your energy and your sense of vitality. This will be paramount to you uh, making the most of the great conjunction which once again will be on the 21st of december now delving more into that conjunction on a personal level this conjunction can see a new stream of income take place and you may even be letting go of an old stream of income to make space for this this new opportunity that is coming into your life some of you will be reworking your entire finances, whether that is having a different approach, moving big sums of money around in your accounts, or just your attitude to finances in general. The great conjunction between Saturn and, and Jupiter will see you be able to form and accumulate a mass of wealth. Now, this will start to take place at earliest 12 months from now so end of 2021 and certainly by the end of uh, the first quarter of 2023 because Saturn will be in Aquarius will be in your second house until March 2023 and once Saturn leaves your second house of uh, finances valuables possessions and even your self-worth that is when you will start seeing this huge transformation start to, start to take place. And, you know, make no mistake, Capricorn, you have all been going through a monumental transformation for 
your Capricorn suns, a lot of you will have undergone, undergone a transformation relating to your career. Uh, for moons, it will Capricorn moons, it will be your relationships and your relationship with your mother. For Capricorn ascendants, it will be all of the above and certainly your physical appearance, your vitality and you know your entire direction and path in life. Many, many Capricorn sun, moon and risings will be embarking on the career which is aligned with their higher calling and you will be able to fulfill your life's potential and your destiny's potential and this new cycle that the great conjunction is kicking off will span 20 years so whatever you're building now it will be manifesting in the physical realm as something which has solid foundations which is tangible and which will give you not just steady, but an abundant stream of income for many, many, many years to come. Now, on a larger scale, uh, you know, this great, this great conjunction affects your greater contribution to society. So some of you will become, if you're not already, life coaches. Uh, some of you will be involved with history, historians, the, the keeper of knowledge, uh, because the second house is anything that we keep, bookkeeper, shopkeeper, and the second house represents lineage and history. And for others of you, the second house rules food. So a lot of you will be doing uh, great feats of work that pertain to our relationship with food, whether that's our restaurant owners, cafe owners, uh, nutritionists, dietitians, and you a lot of you will be teaching your knowledge to others in any of those areas which i just mentioned now on the 20th of december mercury will enter your first house it will enter capricorn and on the 21st of december the sun will enter your first house and that will effectively kick off capricorn season with mercury and the sun here you will experience a renewed sense of vitality you will have a lot more energy and how you look and your physical appearance will just be you know glowing at this time you will receive compliments and people will notice that you know you've got more energy you just have this well i don't know if capricorns ever have a pep in their step but you will be walking around with this sense of confidence and achievement. And definitely this is a time to celebrate your achievements, to take stock of everything that you have been through, all the challenges, all the obstacles, and look at how far you've come. Look at how much you've achieved. You know, you're not looking at the peak of the mountain, Capricorn. At this point in time, you're looking back to see how far you've come. And please don't berate yourself about how much further you have to go because Capricorn is represented by the mountain goat or by the goat and goats can climb to incredible peaks and you will get there and it will take time. The purpose in life for Capricorn is to work diligently and repeatedly towards the highest goal attainable that you can set for yourself but for capricorns nothing comes easily if you haven't already noticed for some people it's easy it's like you know they start a course one day and they finish it and then they get promoted and you know they skip like four levels or other people are getting handouts and things and money and handed out to them on a silver platter it's never been like that for you capricorn and there's a purpose for that saturn is your ruling planet saturn wants to see you build every layer of the house brick by brick until you make a solid foundation because if you skip a step it won't be a solid foundation it will be a rocky foundation which can collapse what Capricorns build lasts the test of time and you're building a legacy not just for yourself but for 
uh, the rest of your lineage and you know you don't you may not have a family you don't have to have kids this is a legacy that you make for your name and this is what that great conjunction is bringing to you Capricorn now lastly on the 29th or 30th of December depending where you live in the world there will be a full moon in Cancer in your seventh house and it will be opposite Mercury in your first house and the Sun and Mercury both being in Capricorn will make a lovely trine to your fifth house to Uranus in Taurus. This full moon can play out in a number of different ways. Many of you Capricorn Sun, Moon and Risings will be taking your relationship to the next level and this will occur within four weeks from the time of the full moon. So let's say by the end of January, many of you will be getting married or at least getting engaged or making a very, very serious commitment to one another. A lot of you uh, Capricorns will be forming a new business partnership. And some of, for some of you, your partner is falling pregnant at this time. And on a different level, some Capricorns will actually be ending relationships. Now, this isn't anything to fear Capricorn. In this instance, it will be you who decides to sever ties. And this won't be for everyone. This won't be for all the Capricorn Sun, Moon and Risings. Of course, it depends on your entire personal birth chart. Um, but for many of you, you know, you've come to the end of the road with a certain relationship and it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It can be a business partnership or it could even be a relationship with a client that you are deciding enough is enough. It's time to let go and to move on. Now, for some of you, you could actually be landing new clients. That's another way that it could play out. That's all I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from me, please subscribe to my Castrology channel. Enjoy the rest of your year and I will see you in 2021.